हेल्थ एंड मेडिसिन सेवा लिवर समरी इन दिस एस एस सेल्जर इमेजिन्स वाई दिस मोस्ट क्रूसियल ऑफ ऑर्गेन्स द प्रोलेटरियल वर्क हाउस लिवर विथ द रिजेंडेटिव पावर्स ऑफ स्टार फिल्स हैज फेल टू कैच द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ राइटर्स पोर्ट्स एंड पेंटर्स थ्रू आउट हिस्ट्री वाई हैव द ह्यूमन हार्ट वेर इन लव वुलम्स एंड द ब्रेन द मिस्ट्रियस होम ऑफ मेमरी एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैप्चर द आर्टिस्ट इमेजिनेशन इन स्टेट द लिवर इज मिराकुलस बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ लाइफ सस्टेनिंग फंक्शन एन अमेजिंगली कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेन विच वर्चुअली इफेक्ट्स एवरी फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस ऑफ द बॉडी लिवर इज वन सच ऑर्गेन ऑफ आर बॉडी विच एन ग्रो बैक इवन इफ यू रिमूव टू थर्ड ऑफ इट but it is known as a silent organ it does not show any sign of damage until it is too late liver has a lot of functions to perform among some thousand divergent functions few are break down the fat convert gl- glucose into glycogen it helps in filtering the blood from harmful substances such as alcohol the production of cholesterol urea is also done by liver it also regulates the hormones it filters over a liter of blood per minute Faulty liver can lead to obesity, fatigue, weakness and loss of appetite. It also causes problems in controlling blood sugar. Chronic liver problem can lead to illness in other parts of body such as kidney, low blood count and ulcers. We can help your liver to keep in good health by avoiding excessive alcohol. The liver cell can be badly damaged by drinking too much because the load of alcohol does not give it time to recover. and lead to cirrhosis of the liver another mistake that people many people make is mixing medicine with alcohol diet also plays a vital role avoid taking too much of a protein it can cause damage to the liver leading to mental confusion never eat if you are not hungry it is healthy to place your meal time around your hunger and not around the clock listen to your body over eating puts burden on your liver moreover another thing you should avoid is food that you may be allergic to drink lots of water this helps in cleaning the liver drink small and frequent sips of water instead in large amount according to selzer liver has many functions approximately 620 functions the most important being the manufacture and secretion of a pint of bile a day which he calls golden liquor without which we could not digest even a simple fruit like grapes hence we need to protect it against all its enemies the deadliest of which is alcohol alcohol is considered a major threat to our liver man's relationship with alcohol is a long and historical one man accidentally tasted the alcohol and experienced an euphoria and since then it became a friend to the human race Despite many prohibitions and legal restrictions it has remained a part of human interest since its first appearance on the planet alcohol has never been absent from human lives the human body is perfectly suited for the taking of alcohol and for its rapid utilization it is absorbed not only from the intestine as are all other foods but directly from the stomach once we take alcohol in and is mixed with body it is job of the liver to oxidize the alcohol But even the healthiest liver can handle only a drop or two at a time and the remainder swirls ceaselessly about in the blood stream. Once we take it, it fills the brain with happiness by removing the barriers that prohibit us to experience all sorts of delicious sources such as the one to walk in the streets naked. In fact, our brain is not much affected by alcohol unless we take it in large amounts. Moderate or limited drinking doesn't kill the brain cells. It was Jean Theophile Hyacinth Lenné, a French physician, who first described the disease known as cirrhosis of the liver near the end of the 19th century. The term cirrhosis was borrowed from the Greek word which means tawny cirrhosis. The liver appears yellow because it is fatty, hard because it is scarred, and knobby because the regeneration of liver tissue between the scars produces little mounds or hillocks. It was Lenné who first discovered that the alcohol caused caused cirrhosis. Alcohol is metabolized in the liver by a fiercely efficient enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, 
and transform directly into energy. As alcohol is poisonous to the liver, it causes liver to become loaded with fat. Taking excessive alcohol results in the deposition of fat in the liver. As a result, the liver becomes yellowish in color. At this time, taking more alcohol makes the liver become heavy with fat and soil. Richard Schelzer argues that even today, how our liver gets cirrhosis is not well understood. Continued drinking is considered harmful to liver. According to the writer, Jews were less prone to cirrhosis because they didn't take alcohol. But Jews are now among the most alcohol takers like the Irish and the French. Still, the Jews do not get cirrhosis. Some studies have revealed that despite taking alcohol, their livers remain healthy. People living in hotter climates are said to have more problem of cirrhosis than those who live in colder regions. Therefore, people who take the same amount of alcohol in colder countries can make a person mad and cause fever in the brain of a person in hot countries. Chelsea also argues that people who take alcohol develop fatty livers, but no one has shown conclusively that a fatty liver causes cirrhosis. Hence, he writes that we don't have to be an alcoholic to get cirrhosis. People who take fatty foods may also get cirrhosis. All kinds of alcoholic substances like beer, wine, and whiskey can cause cirrhosis. Although cirrhosis is primarily found among the people in their 40s or 50s, but it can also attack younger people. Cirrhosis can also be caused due to nutritional factors. More alcoholics stop eating, especially protein, either because they can't afford it or because the sick liver can't digest it. In a study of the people of Chicago's schedule, it was observed that a customary diet consisted of alcohol in any form and jelly donors. Yet in the cases of 3,900 such people whose death certificates were signed out as cirrhosis, only 10% were actually found to be have the disease yet autopsy. Thus, it might be concluded that alcoholics exceed cirrhotics by 9 to 1, or that, one te- or that only 10% of alcoholics get cirrhosis. We all want to be counted among those 90% people who do not get cirrhosis despite taking alcohol. The, ri- the writer gives a happy news to the readers, saying that. Winston Churchill, who drank whiskey all his life, remained alive up to 90 years, and he was also one of the successful prime ministers of the Britain. It is interesting to note that once a person gives up taking alcohol, all the excess fat departs from his liver and it once again regains its original color and size. Hence, occasional or social drinker has little chances of getting cirrhosis according to the writer. In a healthy body, liver does so many functions. For instance, starch is converted to glycogen, which is released in the form of energy as the need arises. Protein is broken down into its building blocks. The amino acids as old disease die off and need to be replaced. Fats are stored until sent forth to provide warmth and comfort. Vitamins and Antibodies are released into the bloodstream, so our liver is always busy doing something for our longevity and healthy body performance. Deteriorous substances ingested inadvertently, like DDT or intentionally like alcohol, are either changed into harmless components and excreted into the intestine or stored in locked closets to be kept isolated from the rest of the body. Even old blood cells are pulverized and recycled. Hence, like a house, our body does have limits. We attend several parties and dine foods that are not friendly to our liver. Our liver cannot tolerate the burden of excess fat. As a result, inflammation sets in, and liver cells die, and it ceases to function. The bile is obstructed and starts to flow down to the gut. It recollects up into the bloodstream, which causes skin and eyes to shine due to jaundice. Our stool looks as white as toothpaste and the urine becomes dark as wine. The stomach swells with gallons of fluid that whip from the surface of the liver. The problem spreads to the entire body and affects it. Even the blood fails to clot. 
The palms of the hands turn red and blood vessels leap and crawl on the skin of the face and neck and male breasts enlarge and the testicles turn soft and weaker. Finally, the writer suggests us not to panic. If we give up alcohol, we can recover our health slowly. Like Prometheus, liver grew up every night, so will ours grow back. Regenerate, reappear, regain with all of its old energy. Once we quit the alcohol, our liver will respond joyously as all the passive, sick and decayed cells will be replaced by healthy ones. 60% of all cirrhotics who stop drinking will be alive and become well only after quitting alcohol 5 years.